Hey y'all, it's Michael from Dallas, Texas. Sweet Woodruffs here and on Instagram. This is floss tube number four. Does that look like I'm leaning over? Anyway, oh, you like my shirt? Katie from um, So Tattered, she always has the cutest band shirts on and I was like, oh, I've got one. <laughs> I've got a old lady granny sweater on today too. Um, it's chilly today, we just got rain. Um, okay, so floss tube number four. Um, where do I begin? So one of the things that I thought was funny was when you're sort of mono stitching, monogamous, monogamous monogamously, you, you kind of have left less content. So, but I do, I mean, I do have things to share, but I've been working super hard on um, Sarah Pie. So I guess I'll start with her. Um, let me show you Sarah Pod. Oops. In my yellow polka dot bag. So I kind of, you know what I did was, I guess was it the last video I said, um, I kind of put it out there in the universe, you know, once you've spoke it, spoken life into it, you, oh, you've got to make it happen. But I was thinking, I was working on this down in the hill country for the first eclipse in October. And I was thinking, oh, it'd be so neat if I could finish this in time for the last eclipse, April the 8th. So I'd been stitching so hard and I, I thought, oh, that'd be so romantic. What a sweet idea if I could put the last stitch in it during the eclipse. Well, it was a great idea until well, it lasted about a week. But I mean, I stitched so hard. Let's see, is it gonna show? And I got, well, I got all the green in and I started, come on little fella, into, into it. Okay. One of the things I've noticed, let's see, I don't think it's gonna, it's, it's not gonna let me get close, is it? Ah, it did it, wow. So, that's as far as I've got. Uh, each flower, I think, has 240 stitches in it. And I was thinking, oh, I'll make that my morning stitch. So, I was doing okay. I, I still haven't given up. I, 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 let me see how far I can get. But that was the idea. I thought it was a great idea. Um, there's a lot of Gloriana here. Well, actually, not a lot. Um, or five and this is um grandma slip and i think in the last video too i was going to say um i wanted to put in the white tail deer because that's what we have down in the hill country and it dads i think there's about 12 12 to 16 deer and i can whistle for them and they will come to me and you see them running across the field and um you know we give them corn and they have babies and so I don't know I, I love my deer I, I still I you can see I didn't put the white tail oh that not focusing is gonna drive me nuts well that's disappointing okay I went ahead and put the the uh, tail in as the pattern called I might take that out and put the, put the white tail but that's what I do I overthink and then I get paralyzed and I don't finish stuff and I don't want to be that person anymore and I sure do love her. You know what's so funny? I have bifocals. And I notice I look up a lot in my videos. And you look right up my nose. And I'm really sorry about that. It's hard getting older. Okay. So there. I've got Sarah Pod done. And um, I t I'll tell you something else that I've, I've realized. The ones that you put their silks in bags. You're on to something and I regret this. Um, I don't like bags. I will use them. I don't enjoy using them. But I've noticed that, especially with this Belle Soir, it is getting 
You can see where it's being worn. Worn. I wouldn't say worn down. I mean, it still looks good, but boy, I, I'm going to rethink the whole bag thing. I think I might get some bags. and. But there's Gloriana and Valsoie. Wow. It doesn't focus. It's really disappointing. And I have really loved Gloriana. This is uh, old gold. And... Anyway, I've really, I really enjoyed the Gloriana on 40 count X Jude is just like my go-to magic. I love that combination. When, when it can be afforded, I'm going to do that again. 40 count X Jude and um, Gloriana. I just, I really love the way that the, the flosses feel when you're stitching. It's just a, it's a smooth, happy stitch. Um, you know, so there's that. And, um, oh, let me put this away. So what do you think? Do you like her? It's funny too. I, I really, I think I'm really enjoying her because it's out of my, I wouldn't say comfort zone, but I don't use, I don't go to warmer colors. I don't, I, usually choose cooler colors or reds or whatever and so just doing something in yellow and green has been happy sunshiny um let me show you this real quick so one of my goals for the year was to um complete as many whips as i could let me see no it was not let me yeah hmm okay so it's um i want to complete as many whips as I can because I want to get the floss out of the bags back into the stash because I'm tired of not finding the floss I know I have 38 skeins of it and now I've got to go buy more I just don't want to do that anymore well as much as I can and so what I was do what I my plan was I've been starting with smaller whips that can be completed quickly but also whips that are close to being complete. So it's kind of like a Dave Ramsey debt snowball. Like I want to get some quick, easy, um, sorry, my cat. I just want to get some quick, easy, oh, what's a word? That's the thing, like, like I can talk, but once the camera's rolling, like words, Okay, so I've got this one I was really close to, and I don't have a lot of St. Patrick's things, so I got this one done. This one's green. It's just a green scrap. And um, this one I got done on Sunday. This, this one took me about two hours. Really fast. It was just letters. Are you going to... Oh, you get <laughs> it wants to focus on my face. I don't know what I set this on. Okay, so happy lucky day. Um, so I'm happy to have some St. Patrick's finishes, and I'm almost done with this. I've just got this house, the roof. Let's see, where's the, I think once I get that, I got the house done. So once I get the roof in, all I have is like the little flowers, the clover, and the little vine. That, so this will be done quickly. Hmm. I hope you can see this. That's the thing, like with each floss tube, with like if you don't film quickly, often enough, you kind of have to re-tutorial yourself every time. So I don't know how I forgot what I've done in the past to make that focus better. Okay, so anyway, the goal is to get scraps used and floss back into the stash and I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited. I've got I got a bunch of things finished the last couple of months. Now fully finished no. Now I've got to figure that out. I can sew, so it's not like it's gonna be hard. I just need to suck it up. But I really let's see the flosses in this are mossy, avocado, English ivy. 
and I really enjoyed those greens. And then there's a uh, purples, like I got, I used black board for the roof. And then I've got two purples here. I really, I know I hear a lot of people say they don't like purple and that's okay. You can do what you want. But I've enjoyed this smoky purple, it's purple haze. I've enjoyed that and there's like two more little DMCs. But yeah, this is almost, I bet I could finish, I'm gonna, what if I set the goal and finish this tonight? And then I'll have more floss, more money back into the stash. I wanna say something too, like if you're a designer, I really love long pieces because we all have this. We've all got long scraps. You know, we could cut it up, but I really, I like the look of longer pieces in a display, like, cause you've got your squares and your rectangles and the longer, it's just, it adds nice interest in a display. I think when there's different shapes and different sizes and uh, the scale of things, I, I like that. So this is almost done and I'm happy. And um, it's kind of fun to have some St. Patrick's stuff that isn't just green. You know, or clover. <laughs> nice to have some purple. Um, let's see, where else are we going? Can you hear uh, my husband's back in there watching Doc Martin? I hope, I hope it's not too loud. And I have a soft voice, so I hope you can hear me. Um, let's see, okay, this is a, I'm excited. Well, I'm proud of myself. I didn't really get a whole lot done on the farms of Hawk Run, but I got something big done. Oh, please focus. Okay, so this, I really don't think that this is hard. There's nothing hard about it. And it goes fairly quickly until you want to personalize it or customize it. Um, because then I get paralysis and I freeze and I'm a perfectionist and oh, it's off by one stitch. It's not centered and that's gonna drive me crazy. So let's rip it out and start over. So that's what kind of slows me down. Let me see, I'm gonna focus. I'm right here on this one. Double yoke Wednesday. So I'm making this after my hometown. I'm custom or personalizing it to be about my hometown of Ingram, Texas. It's a tiny little village of a town. I mean, I think there is a one I think there is one stoplight. Anyway, and you know, you're not, you don't usually stay in Ingram. You're either on your way to Hunt or on your way to Junction and Mountain Home or the Wyo Ranch, and then there's Kerbal back that way. So, you know, it's just a little village, but I grew up there and there's been uh, four generations, I guess. Our family got there real early. And so um, here is Tom, the Moore Lumber Yard and it was started in 1892. Um, and so they probably supplied lumber to, you know, pioneers and the German immigrants, the Austrian immigrants, and the, you know, just people from all over the world came there, I guess. The, um, what I'm trying to do here is I'm gonna put Ingram Grocery here, and it's been there since 1947 my back when we you know remember phones mom would call the grocery store and order groceries and my brother and i would take our little wagon and go down there and pick up the groceries um so i and i think what i want to do after i get it framed is um maybe put like a little envelope or a piece of paper on the back of the frame and explain everything so if the grand you know after i'm gone <laughs> if the grandkids care where grandma was from and also i forgot to tell you um this is a 36 count hogs bristle i am using the um the silks and i have to tell you i don't know i don't know if i would there are needlepoint silks and i'm not disappointed i mean it's there it's wonderful you know how can you not love silk? But honestly, I don't know. I, I, do 
don't even want to say I'm disappointed. But I guess what I'm saying is, I really, looking back, I wish I would have saved the money and just went with DMC because DMC is beautiful and fine and it's been fine for over 200 years and I could have saved myself some money, but I'm not, I'm not gonna complain. But I guess I'm just uh, telling you, the dog's about to bark. Here comes UPS. Um, if you wanna save yourself some money, DMC's just fine. <laughs> happy needlepoint silks are wonderful you can't ever have a regret about that but I don't know I, I but I, I'm, I'm fine with it and I love it and I want to pursue I want to finish this I think when we go down to um because we're going we're going down to Ingram and Kerrville for the other eclipse hanging out at dad's and I'm going to take Sarah Pod because I associate that one with dad's house. And then I'm gonna take this one down there to work too because it's Ingram and I wanna work on the Ingram Hawk run in Ingram as much as I can. So, uh, I'm just proud of myself that I got it centered. Wow. And I don't have to overthink that anymore. I got that behind me. Um, maybe one day I'll get some software or something to where it's easier because I just use a pencil and some old you know paper pencil and paper and there's got to be an easier way to chart letters um I got this one out you know how when you're going through your whips and you're just digging through them looking for something probably looking for floss um and then a whip will just jump out you like jump out and Stitch me! That's what this one did. Spring pin drum, Kathy Barrick. Now, um, Jennifer from, um, is it Stitching in the Bluegrass? Um, she and I started this, was it two years ago? Oh, that's sad, isn't it? Maybe one year, two years, I can't remember. So we started this and this jumped out at me the other day and I was like, you know what, that tree is almost done. So I finished the tree. I think that's all I did though, but I did start, there's like a five row band at the bottom of the pin drum. So I just put some on, in on that. You know what I noticed is funny. You know how we all have our own habits. I start everything in the upper right and work, work my way left. And Jennifer, I noticed she starts in the upper left corner and works her way right so she's got this end of the the pin drum started and i've got it, it was just funny to me like we could meet in the middle and you know i noticed too i don't know what i am stitching this on but it is beautiful fabric and i did not write it down and i'm so sad when i don't when i lose track of what i'm stitching on because if you end up loving it you can't buy it twice, and I, I want I can't I hate to just keep trying. That's very annoying. Oh look, okay, look it did it. I'll have to figure that out next time and do better. But this is oh I know why I'm showing it to you is it's um two over two and you know that it's not my favorite. I bet I know why this ended up as a whip. But anyway, I do love the fabric. I'm very sad that I don't know what it is. I know what I did was I probably put it on a post-it and think, oh, I'll never lose that. And then sure enough, you, you're gonna lose your post-it. But I'll tell you a funny story and you can laugh at me. You can mock me, that's okay. But I'm making myself vulnerable here. And I, I know that it is a real thing because I actually Googled it once, but I have a legit, now I'm doing better much better, but I have a pho an orange phobia, the color orange, like a phobia. And I know that if Emily from uh, Eclectic Possessions hears that, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> but there's, I know a lot of you out there like orange, but I swear, I really think something bad must happen to me in a kitchen in the 70s and that or, around a t orange Tupperware or something because like I have, for the longest time, I, I could not be around the color orange and it would trigger a reflex and I would just feel really sick. <laughs> and if I walked into a room and someone had orange on, I would like whoop, turn around and walk back out. And that is humiliating and sad. So I'm telling you this story, like one of my goals in my, as I mature is to confront phobias and fears or just things that may, or even things that might make me uncomfortable. Like just stop, face it, deal with it. There, you know, so stitching this piece is really a part of that journey. And I'm so proud of myself and I actually am loving it. Autumn leaves and grenadine. Grenadine is a fun floss because you know, it, make, it reminds me of uh, Shirley Temple's. <laughs> well, you, you remember, did you drink Shirley Temple when you were a kid? You just felt like such a big girl. Okay, so anyway, grenadine and autumn leaves and I'm having a good time stitching with orange. It's just such a bright, happy stitch and Kathy Bear never lets us down. She uses a lot of orange too and I'm just proud of myself. And I have been planting orange flowers and I don't feel sick if I'm around the color orange anymore. I'm doing I'm I'm doing pretty good. Let's see what else is in here. Oh I liked this green lucky. It's like a a variegated green and this yellow with some Sally's sunshine. Anyway, it's happy. And also, too, there's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine weeks. I, you will need more teal frost though. Look at that. That's running low. Hey, sweetie. So, let me see. Oh, no, 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 she's not having it. Well, get off my stuff then. Excuse me. Okay, okay. Sorry. It's raining. Well, it stopped a little bit, but it's chilly. I was gonna mow, but I didn't. I didn't beat the rain. All right, you're fine. Let's see what else do I have here. I don't have a, a super a lot amount. Okay, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Maybe I'll just stop being a baby and just push through but it's so funny to me um andrea pugs and stitches a couple of years was it last year i think um somebody hold on a second let me find it all right somebody in our sampler club we meet on sundays at stitch niche in uh, arlington pantigo right? If you want to come, it's the last Sunday of the month. Okay, so someone there was stitching. Why did I not have that marked? Hello. Okay, this my heart remembers. And she was stitching it. I think, I just remember it being really small, so I bet she was doing 45 count. Anyway, Andre and I have been wanting to stitch this ever since we saw that. I mean, you know, it is a pretty piece. But, but there's so many pretty samplers and you know, you can't stitch them all. It's pretty, yes, I know. But you know, you're just stitching other things. But then once you see this one in person, you're just like, oh, I have to do that. So Andrea and I both started it last Sunday. And the funny thing was, I'm, I'm, I'm going cheap. I'm doing it, and I rate, you know, I, from my stash. If I had the floss, I'm using it. If I didn't, I use DMC in my stash. And, cause I'm like, I am not buying, I, I'm not buying any more floss. Well, we started it Sunday and I was happy. I'm just moving along. I got a lot done. This is the DMC. I think it was the DMC for stormy nights. And I wasn't unhappy, I'm fine. I got a lot done and I think what happened was I got tired. It was Sunday night and I'm like, I hate this. Because you know what I, oh, 
and Andrea, she has stormy nights. And I was like, oh, yours is so pretty. And she liked the, the brighter, bolder DMC. She liked mine. And I'm like, no, I like yours. No, she liked mine. And so we were all afternoon, we were like, well, I like yours better. Well, I like yours better. So I, but I'm like, no, no, I'm not doing this. I'm gonna be cheap and I'm gonna stick with the DMC. So that night, I'm tired, Sunday night. Uh, I looked at the picture. And I was like, yeah, I don't like it. I like hers better. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go and buy Stormy Nights because you know what? You cannot, you just can't mess with the Blackbird. Stick with the plan. She knew, she knows what she's doing. Her, she, her, she, it, you know, it was beautiful. Okay, so I guess, I mean, it's fine. I like it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm sure, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Oh, and also too, um, let's see, I can't remember what fabric she ended up going with, but this is um, 36 count milk and honey. Do you have any of this, this fiber on a whim milk and honey? I mean, it's really, really pretty. I don't even know why I bother showing you anything. It's not gonna focus. So it is just a really simple um, bisque, creamy color. I love it and um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see her Sunday at our um, sampler group now the sampler group is in Pantigo at Stitch Niche I think it we start about 12 like you can get there at 12 and do a little um, an hour shopping or just visiting and then it kind of starts at 1 um, and then we go afternoon and we just work on our samplers show and tell and then usually they share an antique sampler um, but you're welcome to come and um, it's open is what I'm saying. It's not a closed group. And the, the colors are so pretty. I really like samplers when there's not, you know, 40 colors that are called for. Because we, we it, our hobby is expensive. And so I'm always happy when you can get a, a beautiful piece of art stitched with um, less floss. But yeah, I'm going to think about that. Hmm, I don't want to start over. I'm re I really am, I really don't like starting stuff over and I usually will not. I just, I, I kind of, once I reach that point in my brain, like it's on. Like now I'm going to stitch you out of spite. <laughs> Cause I, I do not want to start over. Uh, well, I guess it's an investment thing. You know, I've just put like five, 10 hours into you and you want me to just move on? No, we're, we're sticking this out. We're, we're gonna do this um, so was that so Sunday start it's not gonna go back in there okay and the other let's see the other thing that I have to show you I don't have a lot of work on it and I might rethink this too but um, now our stitch group our um, East Dallas East Dallas stitch group um, I've never done any beading before so I took this piece, there's a bunch of, a lot of beaters in our group. So I took this and got somebody to show me how to bead. I mean, it's not that hard, right? Oh, and the other thing I bought these from, um, second, y'all, that's just not gonna work. I can't handle it. Wow, I can see, awesome. Um, so I bought, I bought this, an urge. And I wanted the big one for this because she's real long and I don't want to keep, like I use, I'll either stitch in hand or I'll use um, grandma's hoop. Um, but I don't want to, like once you put the beads in, I don't want to move it, right? What, what do you do? What do you do? So I thought I'm going to get this big one and I got some beads. Is it going to focus? Come on little fella. But I got these beads in and I thought, whoa, stop right there. Don't put any more in because I haven't, I, you probably want to do the beading last, right? Because I haven't done the outline or the back stitch. So I got enough in to figure out where I'm, what I'm doing. I've got, I've got some of the neck and the, let's see, the, would you like to see it? Would you like to see her? 
sort of can see. <laughs> oh, I have to look and think. Fairy roses. She's my first. I don't think she'll be my last. I. It's not. It's funny. I. Pretty ladies. I guess I would say. Well, I used to be. I would think they're not really my thing. I. They're nice, but I. I'm not interested. Well, once you stitch one, you're like, oh. And I think what I love about them is maybe the flow and the movement of color. And you're kind of doing blocks of color. And they're usually, well, this this experience has been real bright and happy. Oh my goodness. I promise I'm, that is messy. It looks like spring, doesn't it? Like if you, a spring garden, like greens and pinks and yellows. It just looks, it's a, wow, those are messy. I'm sorry about that. Um, so I got my first beads and um, I'm trying to not put her away. I don't, I don't, I, once my whips are out, where's my basket? Once my whips are out, I kind of keep them in this basket here because I don't want them too far away from me. Or you're not going back on the shelf. Oops. We're gonna stick this out and we're gonna we're gonna get this done. So yeah, once I once I this is what I'm working on right now. I've got some other things going, but the the whips that I'm have a large commitment to, I am um, not pretty. I'm sticking it out. I don't want them to get too far from me. That's like Kind of like a mother hen with my whips. Y'all, come here, come here, stay with mama. Um, okay. Can you hear the rain? Let's see, what else do I have? So, I guess it's really kind of all I've been working on. Um, I know that I've probably been working on... Oh! This is another... I... I do not know if I'm going to make 24 bat projects, but I'm going to try. I've got 24 bat, batty ideas. I've got the floss for this. Okay, so let me think. Is it Stitch Witch 42? Or is it Stitchy Witch 42? Or... She's doing this year-long project of doing 24 bats. And I'm like, I want to do it. I love bats. Bats are amazing. You know, they they eat a lot of mosquitoes. And it's so funny. Like, I live in the city of Dallas. And we're in East Dallas. I do not know where they live. But there, there's a colony of bats here in East Dallas. Um, but anyway, they're coming at night. And we see them. And they're helping us eating the mosquitoes and there's bats at daddy's house too so um down in kerr county so i i got one done well did I, I think i already put it away in the the fully the finishing stack of things i need to finish it's dead gamut i wish i had it okay so go follow her on floss tube i know i think it's stitch Stitch Witch 42. But anyway, I've, I've got some stuff going. Okay, so I've got one finished. I think I posted it on Instagram. And then I started on number two. And I got a little annoyed. But I'm carrying on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not starting over. But I can't remember why I got annoyed. I'm doing, I'm doing this one on Haunted. Picture this plus Haunted. Um, and it, it's just a, a soup. I got it. It's just a really a small uh, Redbird Designs. Just a pumpkin with that. Um, can't remember why I got annoyed. But you know what? I guess it's good that I forgot. I mean, it must have not made me too mad. But anyway, it's just a, it's just a little small. Like it's happy little primary colors. Wow, look at that. Oh, happy and look, there's orange. There's me being a big girl. I think it's really important to try to um, face your fears. I remember, oh, here's some more. Being young and afraid or something. and um, 
dad would say, can't, never could. Or he would, um, you know, when you say, I can't, I can't, and he'd say, can't, never could. And the other thing was, um, I could just remember him saying, like he wanted me to do something, probably apply to a certain college or something, I can't remember, but I just remember, I don't remember what it was, but it was something big. You know, parents always want big things for their kids. And um, I remember saying, well, I'm afraid. And he's like, so? Do it afraid. Do it afraid. And I was like, wow. So that really kind of has influenced my life. I think that's why I'm here because actually this is terrifying. I, floss tubes are scary. <laughs> you know, so, you know, do it afraid, right? And I love Haunted. I, the first time I saw Haunted, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And it was like I was haunted by haunted fabric. Uh, picture this plus, right? Oh man, and, and then it took me forever to find a piece of it. But this is 36 count haunted, so I, I wanna keep, I'm gonna push through. I, I don't know if I can do 24 and 24, but you know, I'm gonna do as much as I can. So, but I ha I'm keeping the bat, the bat basket close. And I got a bunch of bat charts in here and bat magazine, or let's see which, you know, mag old, these older magazines. They've got the bats in them. I'm just keeping my little bat stash close. And um, I got that one work. We've got a little bit of working on that. So, but that'd be fun if you want to stitch with her. She's pretty cool. I think she's about to retire. Oh, I know what I was going to show you was I got, the reason why I got this out was to show you the fabric. Like I put some, I do not know what this is. It's like a purple cream, but can you read the handwriting? It says M-A-F. What is 36 count M-A-F? I don't know, but it's cute. Like it's just purple and white. I put that in the bat basket. And then this one, what was this? 36 count tombstone. I thought, well, actually it's a cool color. It's a cool piece of fabric. But also its name was Tombstone. <laughs> I planned that. <laughs> anyway, it's nice. I like this fabric. I wish you, it's, I like that. So I, that's, my, that's the bat basket. I don't know if there's a lot to show. I haven't really added any charts. You can look at the previous uh, floss tube, floss tube three. Um, I, got, I got this one kitted up. That one, and then, but that's the thing, that's the thing, I'm not kidding up. Oh, Lord help me, I am not kidding up a bunch of stuff. But, Lucy, Lucy Beam has a bunch of cute bad things. I think I've already showed this. I don't want to repeat content. Let's see. No, don't look at my fingernails. It's still garden season. Ooh, like my frog green. Oh, can you see it? Of course, it's not gonna focus. You son of a gun. Okay, sorry, James Avery, frog, frog green. All right. Oh, I like this. I like that one. Well, I am going to be careful and moderate with my kidding up. I want to use what I have on hand, but this one I thought deserved kidding up. I don't really want to change, mess with that pad, uh, chart and her color, but um, let's see what else is in here. This one. I know I'm just, I, I think I probably have showed you these, but they're, but anyway, I've been working. I mean, the goal is there, but you know what? Even if I don't get to them all this year, I've got, I've got it now, right? I know I bought this off of, um, oh, I gotta sneeze. Because I just said that I'm not, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so, 
I, I've got it, and you know, I'll get them done because Halloween's my favorite, favorite holiday. This one I thought was, I don't remember even seeing this before. It's just Nan. Am I, is that right? That right side up. Isn't that cute? Um, uh, you can never, never go wrong with homespun elegance. Yeah, Halloween is my favorite. I'll leave it up all year. Oh, I already showed you that. Um, there are so many cute ones. There's some new ones, too, that I haven't got yet. Um, I'm This Sunday, when we go to the Stitch, uh, the Sampler Club, I want to get some of those newer bat. The Pollinator's Garden, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't think of her name. Anyway, I've seen some new bats. I'm going to get them. That's where I got get it up. I don't want to mess with that color, the color palette of that either. It's like sometimes you can just pull what you have on hand and magazines. So there's the little bat. This is my bat stash. You know, it would be cute and clever, but too much time. What if I had like a, a bat band around that? Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, that's too much work. Um, what is in that bag? All right. So what do you think? Yeah, 24 bats and 24, I think her name's Audrey. I don't know her, I just, you know, I'm just a fan girl. Um, Stitch Witch 42, I think. Um, so that's all I wanna, sh that's pretty much what I've been working on. Let's see. Um, let's move on to enablers of the month. Oh, let me, let me do this real quick. So I have, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. She's right here. Oh, I know. I don't know. She's not shy. Can you say hello? Be sweet. Don't be rude. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Okay, so. Have you met her yet? Uh, two days after Daddy died, we're all at Dad's. And he doesn't have neighbors. I think there must be like a colony of feral cats. I don't know. Yes, actually, I do know. He, Daddy has a colony of feral cats. Um, but I didn't realize it at the time. But now we know because we have cameras on Dad's house. So anyway, we're all out. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. We're all outside drinking coffee, trying to prepare for the day probably you know had to go to the funeral home or something i don't know we're busy we're busy taking care of uh burial stuff going through dad's house oh and we're out on the back and we're drinking coffee and i was like did you hear that did you did you guys hear that there was this kitten in the tree she's at the top of the tree i mean i ran down the driveway and i found her and she's at the top of the tree and I, you know of course i'm going to save her so i climbed to the top of the tree and got her down and she was probably six seven weeks old she was tiny and we tr we tried to find a foster home tried to find somebody to take her and I was like, well, I guess I'm stuck with a cat. <laughs> Lucky. You know, I wasn't too terribly disappointed. Well, the funny thing is, now I got cat hair in my mouth. Funny thing is, I think Dad sent her. I don't know. But it's she's the weirdest, the, like, like the most loving thing. And uh, my brother-in-law, we're at Dad's house, and he he's like, that's a distraction. She's a distraction. We're busy. And so we started, I named her Jolie because dad's name was Joel. So I named her Jolie. Well, Chris, brother-in-law Chris, he used to call her Distraction. So now we all call her Distraction. Um, half Jolie, half Distraction. Okay, I don't know where I was going with this. But anyway, oh yeah, I think dad sent her because like she just shows up two days after he dies. And this cat, she loves me so much and she has been a blessing of a distraction but she'll come up to my face and she'll where's the eye contact like right there she'll just make eye contact with me like this 
and she'll take her little paw and she'll like touch my face and she's just like staring into my eyes. It's, it's kind of weird. But I've never been loved by an animal like this. So <laughs> I don't know if dad's in her or not. But anyway, she's a joy of a distraction and I really have enjoyed having her. She's about to get fixed, spayed. Okay, enabler of the month. I have several and now I'm trying to be really good uh, and not spend too much, but sometimes you just gotta, uh, that made my, okay, I think I saw this on a made by Michelle McGraw. I'm pretty sure I, this is where I saw it. And if, if I didn't see it with her and somebody else shared this and I'm not giving you credit, I'm sorry, but I have, I had to have this because uh, our grandma, the house where we're going, or where dad lived, her name, she was Virginia, but we called her Gingy. She was, instead of grandma, we called her Gingy. And look at that, Gingy. Oh my gosh, I had to have it. Um, it would be really nice if I had the energy to stitch one for everybody in the family so everybody would have a Gingy ornament, but I might just be selfish and stitch one. Now, um, this has been around a while, but I finally had to get it. Michelle, uh, Mama loves you, GB. My son and his wife, they're te school teachers. And I think that's hilarious. Be not a dunce. I finally broke down and got this. Um, but how can you not stitch that? Remember thy creator in thy youth and be not a dunce, strive to learn. I just think every teacher needs this. Um, oh here, look at that. Stitch Witch 42, I was right, Stitch Witch 42. I saw this and I loved the colors in this. Um, I just like the pastel with Halloween bat. Um, where did I get this? Witch Stitch Witch on Etsy. I'm gonna put that in the bat bag. Let's see, okay. And the grand prize goes to Memphis, Sarah. Oh my gosh, so we lived in Florida for many years and we had Disney passes when the kids were growing up. I homeschooled, I tell you that. So I homeschooled the kids and um, we had Disney passes. And so it was a great life. <laughs> you know, homeschool, Disney, whenever we felt like it. And so, um, Memphis Sarah, I don't know her either. Hey, <laughs> if you, uh, you know, I'm just a fangirl. Um, but I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta have that. I mean, I raced, bought it, but it's the haunted house. Isn't that wonderful? Well, I shared it with the kids and they both want one. Does that mean I have to stitch it twice? I don't know if I love it that much now. But I cannot wait. That was one of our favorite rides. Man, that's fun. Um, oh, I know. I This is Good Morning Maui. Good Morning Maui. They have a bunch of really cool, cute stuff. I want to get more. But I am trying to be responsible. No, what it is, well, I do want to be responsible with my cash. But what I, what I want is to finish my whips. I'm on a mission. And the more I buy, the more distracted I am. And I'm like, no, I'm going to focus. So let me show you what I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm all talk. Um, I don't mean anything I say. Okay, someone from um, Inst Instagram was stitching this. I didn't ask permission to share her name. But I love Scar. I would love to own every single one of the scarlet letter and I would love to stitch every single one. I really feel like she's probably my favorite. I don't know. Blackbird. I don't know. I really do like scarlet letter. So she was stitching this and it was just so different and the color palette was really, it's browns, blues, yellows, and green. Can you see? Um, I'll show you the color. Anyway, but those tr the trees were different, and I was admiring it. I loved it. Uh, I guess if you looked, searched Mary Shoal, 
you can maybe find who was stitching this. I didn't get permission to share her name, but she passed this on to me. And I thought that was sweet to share. Um, maybe when I finish it, I'll pass it on to somebody. But I liked it. It's a Pennsylvania sampler. And what, you know, I really love history. So I want to keep working on filling the house up or a wall up with American samplers from different states or just, you know, just around the world. So it doesn't have to be America, but, you know, Rhode Island and Pennsylvania and. Does Texas have any samplers? That'd be cool. Okay, so here's the colors. It's aqua, gold, two greens, and gold. So two golds. No, that's not a green, hello. Browns, two browns. So it's real simple. It doesn't look hard. That should go fairly quickly, we'll see. I, I don't know when I'm gonna start this, but I wanted to show you. But I'm trying to not put a whole lot of money and kitty stuff up. But I did want to do this because somebody, I wanted to do it fairly quickly because somebody was generous and gave me the, the chart. So if she doesn't want it back, I'll pass it on to someone. But, and I think I showed you this last, um, last floss tube. But I wanted to, ooh, I, I wanted to stitch this last year. And of course I didn't get to it. Um, but I love the colors in this Becca Sambri stitches. So I finally got it kitted. Oh, and, you know, and it's really, it, it's not, it doesn't look hard. It doesn't look super complicated. I mean, it may be a, 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 a beginner could do this, but if you're not, if you're past beginner, I want to try something else. Because it's not super advanced. I mean, it could be if you wanted it to be. <laughs> I just like that little girl on the ladder. And the colors, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, six colors. Blues, yellows, er, I guess those browns are kind of creams. Isn't it sweet? So, okay, I got that kitted up. Well, and I think one of the reasons why there was a delay, well, it's really gray. I hope you can see me. Can you see me? I hope the light's all right. I could, I think the reason why I didn't kit it up quickly was, um, I didn't know what to stitch it on, but I found a piece of seraphim old stationery. Oh, of course it's not. Maybe. But I love old stationery. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get more of that. But it looks really pretty on old stationery. Yeah, old stationery is the way to go. I'm happy with this. Four and I got 40 count. Um but I really want to stitch that. Well, I like the sampler. And I like Becca. And um, <laughs> so I just want to have something of Becca on my wall. Won't that be cool to have um, Becca on my wall? I'm going to try to keep everything organized. That's the bad thing about uh, floss tubes is you just make a mess. Um, okay, so another one of my goals this year was... Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get them all started. Maybe I will, maybe I will. But I have many started, but I want to focus, or at least get the bucket list pieces started. I wanna focus on the big things that I've loved for years, never started or did not finish. And, um, you know, I don't know how to, to share this joyfully, but, you know, I'm 55, and so, sorry, this is an antique chair. I'm 55, and Daddy just passed. My mom's 75, and so you start thinking about, you know, I guess you start stitching in with intention or st stitching intentionally. And um, so I, Andrea and I have been talking about this a lot. It really keeps us motivated to, um, 
but we've been working on our bucket list pieces or and uh, but I got this out I have not started this and I've been seeing everybody else um, not everybody else some people are working on the the days of Advent I don't know how to show you yeah because there there isn't anything I can show you in here there it's hand-drawn they're hand-drawn and you can get it um, at Mary Beale site and it's an investment I think it's $75 so if you want to you know if, if you're gonna spend $75 and you need to make the commitment to stitch it so maybe I'll show them in the next video but I've got a lot of bucket list things started I have some think bucket list things kitted and then I got this out so Andrea and I might be starting this soon I think she did start hers she's got the clouds with the first one the first first advent day started um so I don't know I'll, t I'll update you on that I'm not I'm I'm gonna need to get a big piece of flaw a big piece of fabric and then start kidding up the floss and it would be nice if I didn't have to buy a bunch maybe I can just raid my DMC stash let's see how many are in there sorry I'm 56 minutes I always okay. here's here's the DMC I would need so and I think this is silk okay so we'll see it's not it's not started but it it is in my mind <laughs> um but you know i'm not sad i mean but uh mortality is real <laughs> right and um there's that one who designed that that one cross stitch like buying patterns like i'm immortal <laughs> okay I, I should stitch that too, because that is not what we're doing. So, oh, I just have one more thing to show you. You know who's working on this right now? Andrea Pugs and Stitches. And I flipped out when I saw this. I'm like, I don't remember seeing this before. Maybe I'm sure I have. I just, I didn't remember. Can you see? This is showing up. I want to pull it in close. Let me see if I. Okay, permit me not to stray. And it's so cute, the uh, flowers are folky and Adam and Eve. Heartstring Sample 2010. But um, Andrea is working on it. You can go look at it on, I, I guess she's posted a picture of it, Pugs and Stitches. Um, I'm at 57 minutes and I just remember two more things I wanted to show you. Okay. I'm trying to stay organized. Now my pile's gonna fall. Don't fall. Okay. Look. You tell what Scarlet got for Christmas. <laughs> so I I have started. Whoopsie Daisy. I started, let me just show you, this is awkward, I'm making a mess of things, but I started this, and I, I wanted to finish it, hello, last year, because it was 1723, and I thought, oh, last year, you know, 2023, it'll be so cool to finish it, her um, 300 year anniversary, well, what happened was I got stuck, I couldn't go any further, because it is like almost... There's so much satin stitch in here. And I didn't like the idea of stitching it in hand because I felt like the satin stitch needed to be taut. And then, um, I just, I couldn't figure out how to, to keep it taut and not squish, crush the satin stitch. So Andrea loaned me this and look, I found, I got it in here. Woo! And I started, and I mean, I was flying. So I think this is the way to go. If you have a lot of satin stitch or um, like this chart, Ann Gardner, it's, I like satin stitch. It doesn't bother me. I like doing it, but it's real pretty. And it's very primary color-ish too. The, 
I'm gonna wanna take it out. So it's like reds, blues, pinks, yellows. It looks like a little crayon box, but it's real pretty. I wanted to show you this. Look at that. I don't know. Is it gonna show? But the, I don't I don't own one of these. This is my first time to use this, and I I think it's gonna work well for this attitude. Um so and I want to show you oh Thornfeld. For, this is on 40 count Thornfeld. I love this. I think that's gonna be my new favorite. Um oh what's that gonna show? Is it my new favorite sampler fabric? Wow, I love this. I mean, we love all fabrics, and then some of them just stand out and your heart is eternally attached. Um, but let me show you, I haven't been quilting. Wow, I have quilted every day of my life for like 20, 25 years. No, that's a lie. Let's see, 20 years. Um, and I have not been quilting at all. I don't think I even sat at the sewing machine. I think the last time I quilted was in November at a retreat. I have been stitching or working but okay so back to dad we we're going through dad's house now dad lived lived and died in the house that he was born in and it was my grandmother's house too so she lived there um and i guess daddy must have gone got, had gone through some stuff um because her clothes were not there like her clothes were not there but there was so much in Gingy's clothes i mean closet that we had never seen like we never snooped on grandma's closet or Gingy's closet <laughs> i mean all these years we never even knew what was in there the hair in my mouth so and we found a bunch of quilts and we don't know who stitched them it might have been Gingy, but i kind of doubt it so i'm thinking it was Gingy's family mother or sister okay so we don't know but i wanted to show you I'll, I'll just show you one. Let me pull my pants up there. Um, let's see. Can you see? It's applique birds. I think it's probably a twin size. I mean, I guess it might could fit a double bed, but I mean, I would put it on a twin. Let me do it like this. So the birds are upright. Is that right? Oh, okay, so they set them on point. They're applique birds. And we don't know who did it. It might have been in Papa's family too, but there was about four to six quilts in there. I don't know, is it gonna let you see the applique? Am I doing this right? Wait, let me look at the bird. I think I was, oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah. Well, maybe they're all different angles then. <laughs> so the applique look like, is that like a blanket stitch? So we don't know, oh, and this one's got little, can you see the, the hair? <laughs> Not hair, feathers. Look at those stitches. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and this one's got a little crest. <laughs> so somebody got creative. And it's so funny. Now there's, st my sister took this one home. And she washed it. And I was, I didn't say anything, but I'm like, why did you do that without me? Okay, so this, it's got a few stains in it. Yeah, there's some more there. So it's got, it's got some uh, stains in it. And my sister didn't like that. And she's like, I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Maybe we can cut it up and I make pillows out of it. What? Absolutely not. <laughs> so I don't know, we're, I guess we're gonna have to have that conversation. And I know sometimes you do just have to cut up a cutter, but it's not a cutter yet. No, I'm gonna enjoy it for a while. It's just super cute. Like put, put little feathers. 
little crest and each bird is different. So I'm not gonna let sister cut it up just yet. But this is one of them. I'll show you the rest. Maybe. I just love that. I don't know what kind of stitch. I mean, it's like a long stitch and then at the top of the stitch is a little knot, French knot. Can you see, is that the focus? So um, it looks like it was hand quilted, is it hand pieced? Um, anyway, in the Baptist fan is what I was trying to, and I, Baptist fan, I am not gonna let this thing get cut. No, no, you cannot cut the quilt. So I guess we'll have that fight, I mean conversation soon. No, we all get along, we love each other. Um, I guess that's it, I, I'm at an hour and five minutes, so can you think of anything else I need to tell you? Um, well, happy stitching. If you have any questions, just um, post them or comment or whatever, and you can find me at Sweet Woodruffs on Instagram. And um, anyway, be blessed and be a blessing. And thanks for stopping by. It really means a lot to me. And this is a scary endeavor. And I just appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. All Everyone that comments or likes or whatever, gives me a thumbs up or shares, that, that means a lot to me. But also the, the ones out there who but film floss tubes too. You know, I really appreciate you and I have a lot of respect for you. This is not easy. So the ones that have been doing this for years and just being our friends, you know, you don't even know you're our friends, you know, you just put your content out there and I mean, you don't know what you are doing for somebody when you kind of touch their soul, maybe on a dark day and you're just sitting there stitching and uh, and you get the comfort of a stranger um, to, and you have a friend to stitch with. Um, let's see. I think that's it. I did have, I wanted to tell you, well, how about we just do it in the next video? I, I think I was going to shout some people out, but I don't, I'm just drawing a blank, Dad Gummit. Okay, well, thank you. I'm gonna hang up now. This is awkward. <laughs> Bye. Happy stitching.